If you're on the hunt for the best pickup lines to use on Tinder, you're in the right place. Not because I'm going to give you a list of funny or even good Tinder pickup lines, but because there's no such thing and you need to know why. Hi, I'm Melanie, and today I'm going to give you some simple ways to start a conversation on Tinder without resorting to cheesy pickup lines. The whole idea of these pickup lines is a relic of the past, and that's where they should stay. Even using them ironically, they aren't as funny as some guys seem to think. For the most part, they just come across as recycled attempt at humor, and we both know that you're better than that. Instead, I'm going to walk you through the fundamentals of starting a conversation on Tinder the right way. No set lines for you to repeat because that's not how it works. Instead, we'll be talking about where to get your inspiration and some common pitfalls to avoid. And remember, if you enjoy our video, don't forget to hit like and subscribe below. You can also find a lot more great tips and advice to improve your success using apps like Tinder by going to beyondages.com or clicking on the link on the top right now. Let's get to it. Remember, you're just starting a conversation. First and foremost, let's take a moment to appreciate this fact. So many articles about Tinder openers make it out to be this big mysterious process, as though you're trying to crack some secret Tinder code. You're a person, she's a person, and you're both using the same app. All you're doing is chatting to another person. That's it. No mystery, no groundbreaking secrets. Be easy to respond to. The other thing these articles seem to forget is that women share similar struggles as you on Tinder. Sometimes we're unsure about how to respond or how to approach a certain topic as well. The single biggest thing you can do to get more responses is to write a good first message on Tinder that's easy to respond to. Keep it short and simple and try to work a basic question in there if it makes sense too. This way, you'll make it easy for her to reply. Even if she just answers the easy question, you're off to a good start. Pay close attention to her photos. Like your profile, the photos she included in hers are there for a reason. Sure, they're pics that she looks cute in, but they're also giving you a picture of who she is, what she likes to do, where she likes to go, and a general sense of her style. Pay attention to these photos and you'll find some ideas for good Tinder opening lines right here. Maybe you recognize the location in one of her photos. Maybe the two of you share an interest in a hobby or sport. Whatever the case, her photos will go a long way in telling you who she is. If you can either relate to something in her photos or ask a question about it, there's your conversation right there. Take a moment to actually read her bio. Tinder bios are super important, so you should work on yours too. The other place she's going to show you who she is is her bio. Even if it's short, witty phrase, she's giving you clues about her personality and her sense of humor. Maybe it's a short list of bullet points telling you her likes, dislikes, and what she's looking for. Either way, just like her photos, her bio will give you a great idea about who she is and what you can talk about to start the conversation. Look beyond the obvious. As you do this more and more, you might be tempted to talk about the first thing you see in her profile and then move on to the next match. That's infinitely better than just saying hi or a line from a random list of best Tinder pickup lines, but I think you can do better. Try to avoid the most obvious things in her profile and look a little deeper. If her first photo is of her standing in front of the Vegas sign, you can bet that's what the most semi-creative guys talk about. Vegas, huh? I like Vegas too. No kidding, Clive. Everyone likes Vegas. You want to differentiate yourself a little. Try to relate with something beyond the obvious, and your originality alone will make you stand out from the chatter. Don't be afraid to poke fun at yourself. This might depend on your sense of humor, but try to not take yourself too seriously. It's the key to some of the best Tinder opening lines. Her inbox will be full of wannabe pickup artists with their alpha messages, showing how their ultimate caveman they are, or whatever it is that they're trying to do. Poking fun at yourself can be a great way to make her smile and show her that you've evolved beyond Neanderthal hunter status. Just be careful that you don't cross the line between playful humor and demonstrating a genuine lack of confidence. If the first thing you say suggests that you're unhappy with who you are, that's a message she wants nothing to do with. Confidence is attractive, and being able to laugh at yourself is a great way to show that off. It shows that you're sure enough in yourself that you're okay with making jokes at your own expense. However, if you really struggle with confidence and the initial stages of attracting women, you need to check out our in-depth video course by clicking on the link above. We go deep into how to attract women online and offline without being gimmicky or manipulative. Go easy on the compliments, if at all. A lot of guys seem to think that starting off with a generic compliment is the best first message on Tinder. I can assure you, it isn't. 
Maybe if it's a genuine, unique compliment, it might get a response. But, hey babe, you have beautiful eyes. Sounds so generic and recycled. In my opinion, it's even worse than a pickup line because it's trying to sound sincere. There are very few instances where starting a conversation with a compliment is a good idea. My advice is to save them for later when you actually mean it. Then you can compliment her on something besides her appearance. Don't be afraid to experiment. No matter who you are, there's going to be a learning curve here while you get the hang of it. The best way to cut down on this learning curve is to experiment and see what works for you. The whole reason that I'm not giving you specific lines today is because no two guys are identical. That means no two guys can use the exact same words and be equally effective. Think about it this way. Say you find the best Tinder pickup line to start your conversations with and it's a type of humor that you can't reproduce. So what happens after that first line? Instead, take the time to figure out what works for you personally. Develop your own style and brand and it'll show throughout your dating experience. From the first line to the first date, your demeanor and sense of humor will match. Now that's enough time watching clips about how to use Tinder. Time to start actually doing it. Tinder is meant to be fun. Go start experimenting. And if you found our video useful, please hit like and subscribe to our channel. And if you want to learn more useful tips about dating and relationships, check out our site at beyondages.com by clicking on the link in the top right.